K-pop bands in Canada have gone online to quench their thirst for music. While unable to meet up in person due to the pandemic, they're still dancing and learning more about Korean songs together on screen. Choi min -jung reports. K-pop lovers in Canada are not missing a chance to dance. Despite the outbreak of COVID-19, they can still enjoy K-pop through online events provided by the Korean Cultural Center Canada. After wondering if there were any other ways to enjoy K-pop at home, since we could no longer hold offline events, we decided to start the K-pop Relay Dance. The K-pop Relay Dance is a mashup of dance covers filmed by participants regardless of time and place. The video is edited as if the participants are dancing together to one song. It just came at a really nice time and it still is effective now because again, I mentioned the quarantine and so a lot of people feel lonely at home and there's not many in-person dancing opportunities. It just feels collaborative even if you're not physically with them. So I think it kind of gave me this feeling of like being with people even when I'm like home alone. It's like, it's, that's like Hundreds of people in Canada also had the opportunity to learn dance routines from a professional K-pop choreographer. Jay Kim, who worked on dance moves with some of the biggest artists in K-pop, recently gave his second K-pop dance workshop through a live video call. I thought people who like K-pop and dancing would feel hopeless due to the current situation. I decided to start this workshop to give them a little bit of hope and encourage them to do what they love. The song was healing and the choreography wasn't too difficult to follow. I could tell even through the screen that the participants really focused and had a good experience. The Cultural Center says it hopes the spread of K-pop can also become an opportunity for foreigners to learn the Korean language or experience Korean food, eventually increasing global recognition of Korean culture. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.